Sand Freaks, welcome. Today is a super exciting video. We are going to unbox Tommy Lommy Monkey Special by Zerja. I have been hearing so much buzz about this fragrance. Being in Oz, I couldn't get a sample. No shocker there, I guess. So I did blind buy this bottle and I'm hoping that everything that I've been hearing positive wise is accurate for this fragrance. Otherwise, I'm out about $400. Have you guys heard about this fragrance? Have you tried this scent? Please let me know what your thoughts were in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, or maybe you've watched me before and you do love to talk about fragrance just like I do, please don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications and like this video. It really does help my channel. All right, guys, let's get it unboxed and I will give you guys my very first raw impression. Let's do it. I'm so excited. I love unboxings. Do you guys love unboxings? There's something about getting the packaging and cracking open the plastic and I don't know, maybe just because I'm a fragrance junkie, I don't know. But you guys are here too, so chances are you guys are fragrance junkies. You understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so we've taken the first one off and we are up to the actual black. Look at this sexy, sexy box here. It doesn't matter how many times I see these boxes, they are still so sexy to me. The leather casing, the fact that they're hard and they protect the fragrance, they just look beautiful. So it's come in a beautiful suede material. Look at that bottle. Guys, look at it. That is absolutely stunning. Look how sexy that is. I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see it a little bit better as well. Now, I'm going to spray the fragrance on a test strip and while it dries down, I will give you guys the set notes. Oh, oh my goodness, could you imagine if that dropped? I would cry. Tommy Lommy Monkey Special retails for $399 Australian dollars for a 50ml EDP bottle. It has top notes of rum, passion fruit, bergamot and geranium. Mid notes of cinnamon, Singapore patchouli, leather and Bulgarian rose. And base notes of caramel, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, ladanum, ambergris and musk. Oh my goodness. Okay, so initially I was a little panicked there, I'm not going to lie. It's not that I didn't like it initially, it's that I just wasn't sure. Um, there is an overload of patchouli in this fragrance and I am inherently not really a patchouli lover. Um, I definitely can tolerate it in a well-balanced fragrance. This is definitely more patchouli heavy than I would normally gravitate towards, but it is a clean patchouli and the other yummy, delicious scent notes are really complementing it well. So, oh my goodness, it's getting better and better. When I'm smelling it, it's taking my head to a gourmand place, which is, you know, what I look for in a fragrance normally, almost taking me to a, a chocolatey banana with like a really salty ambergris seasoning. I cannot stop smelling it. It is addictive. It's giving me this euphoric rush when I'm smelling it. It's also making me feel really, really happy you know, almost like an antidepressant of fragrances. It's so good. The rum note in the fragrance is non-alcoholic. You know, it's smooth, it's refined, it's well blended. And then that somewhat chocolatey finish and then throwing in that salty ambergris, it's a perfectly balanced dessert fragrance. When you combine caramel, passion fruit and cinnamon in a fragrance, for me personally, it's like the holy trinity. You know, you cannot get much better than those three scent notes together. And it is giving me all of that and more. But it does have this rough around the edges, definite rock star vibe as well. You know, like, yes, definitely a formal occasion scent, but you could see a rock star wearing it. You know, scruffy hair, unkept shirt, um, you know, just after they got off stage. It, it does have an edge to it. It isn't as kind of you know, suit wearing, prim and proper, it has this sexy edge to it, which I really like. 
I'm also getting really clear in the background citric elements and it's really nice because I think with all that syrupy rum and cinnamon and those sweet notes, it would have been a little bit too cloying, but I find the citrus notes really do give it a lot of balance and stop it bridging over into, whoa, you know, this fragrance is way too sweet to wear and just wouldn't have any versatility. It definitely has a masculine vibe to it. You know, there is... There is an alpha male presence to this fragrance. However, this would be the sexiest scent on a confident woman. Oh my goodness, it would smell amazing on a woman as well, but it does lean masculine. I think this fragrance would definitely be mass appealing, but not commercial smelling. You know, it, it still has that niche scent to it. While I think, as I said, a lot of people would love it, it is not going to be for everybody. So do not blind buy this fragrance sample first. There is leather in this fragrance, and I'm a bit funny with leather. Um, I mean, there's been some epic leather fragrances that I've really, really enjoyed, but leather can be tricky for me, um, particularly when it dominates a fragrance or makes it smell too masculine. I feel like the leather in this scent has been done incredibly well. It's more in the background, giving it a really strong foundation, but it's not overtaking the other scent notes it's letting them star and it's just kind of backing up in the background really giving it substance and body which i mean is really for me personally the perfect combination and it's like a pillowy soft leather it's not a hard coarse leather monkey special definitely reminds me of what you know a rock star celebrity would wear it's i totally get it now you know the collab was done really really well um, this feels very rich and famous to me, but pretty cool as well. You know, it's not too snobby and it's not too obnoxious. Um, it's just, it's a really great balance. Like, needless to say, I love this scent. Okay, scent freaks. So that is my unboxing of Monkey Special by Zerzhov. I hope you've enjoyed my first reaction to this fragrance. I've really enjoyed it. I'm so stoked that I was able to get a bottle and try it. Um, as I said, though, just let me reiterate that it is a gorgeous fragrance, in my opinion, but it's not going to be for everybody. So even though I am recommending it and saying I love it, please sample first. I would hate somebody to go out and purchase it and they go, oh, you know, this is not what I thought it was. And I sound like an absolute hypocrite because I blind bought it. But can you guys tell me what your favorite Zerja fragrance is? I've been exploring the house a lot lately and um, I'm just getting more and more excited about them. My very first review video on Zerzhov was for three fragrances and I didn't care for either of them. So to do a full 180 like this was a big deal for me. I didn't think Zerzhov was going to be a house I enjoyed and it turns out it's become one of my all-time favorite fragrance houses. Thank you so much, Scent Freaks. I love and appreciate you all and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.